the real reason John Jones is retiring this year. If you're a fan of mixed martial arts, then no doubt you've enjoyed watching John Jones dominate his opponents over the last decade. Widely considered the greatest fighter in UFC history, Bones has remained at the top of his game since he first became a champion at the young age of 23. But all good things must eventually come to an end. Join us in this video as we discuss what lies in store for Jones in the future and why we'll likely see the heavyweight champion retire before the end of the year. The Return of Jones at Heavyweight Jones recently returned to the Octagon this year and immediately silenced all the haters who questioned whether or not his ability would carry over to the heavyweight division. He met Surreal Gan at UFC 285 and quickly reminded fans why he is considered the GOAT after finishing the Frenchman with a guillotine after just two minutes in the first round. While many of us hoped this would be the beginning of a long and destructive reign as the heavyweight champ, this may not be the case. Jones initially signed an eight-fight deal with the UFC ahead of his fight with Gunn. This was enough to suggest that we may see the heavyweight champ stick around for at least the next few years. But now it seems that our dreams may get shattered. For the next time we see Jones inside the UFC's octagon may, in fact, be the last time he ever steps foot in it. Jones will likely retire after Stipe fight. Jones has hinted at retirement on several occasions since his dominant victory over Gan. While this has led to various rumors in the MMA community, the fact remains that if he's able to defeat Stipe Miocic when they eventually face off, this could be his curtain call. The long-awaited fight with Stipe Miocic has been made official and is set to go down at UFC 295 in November. When asked in interviews about future plans following the fight, Jones said that a win over a heavyweight legend such as Stipe might allow him to comfortably hang up his gloves and cement his place as the greatest of all time. A tweet posted a few months before the fight's official announcement was one of the first signs suggesting the matchup against Stipe could be the last time we ever see Jones in the octagon. In the post, Jones wrote, how great it would be to have my final fight in Madison Square Garden, an idea that may now have turned into reality. Jones has further backed up his desire to retire on several occasions. The champ has since gone on to say that he would be happy to have one final super fight against Miocic in New York City. With this, Jones claims he would feel extremely confident with what he's accomplished in his career. Let's not forget that he is the youngest competitor to ever win a world title, and if he's able to defend his heavyweight title, Jones will have been a unified champ in two divisions. Bones has the most UFC title fights with a record of 15, and if we're being somewhat truthful, he never really suffered a defeat inside the octagon. With wins over Daniel Cormier, Rashad Evans, Shogun Hua, Vitor Belfort, and possibly Stipe Miocic, Jones has an outstanding claim to the GOAT title. So when Jones claimed there's nothing left to prove in the UFC after his upcoming fight against Stipe, we can see why. The heavyweight champion recognizes that in terms of fighter years, he's an old man when compared to the younger and hungrier fighters on the roster. Jones also said, I've been in the game for a long time. I've been training for a long time, been training for a long time, got some small injuries. I just really want to be around my family. I want to be around my kids. I can see my career coming to an end really soon and I'm happy with that. I'm really proud of my career. This final quote may have left many longtime UFC fans heartbroken as we prepare to watch the greatest of all time potentially say his farewell this year. But is there anything that could keep Jones interested in fighting? Is there a challenger that would be worth sticking around for? According to his own opinion, probably not, considering he's beaten the best of his era. If he gets through Stipe at UFC 295, Jones will have defeated arguably the best heavyweight of the last decade and with it, his name will be forever etched into the UFC's record book. When questioned about other fighters in the heavyweight division, such as a potential matchup with someone like Sergei Pavlovich, Jones didn't seem that interested. He claimed that while Pavlovich is undoubtedly a force to be reckoned with, the Russian doesn't have a big name in the MMA community. This ultimately means a fight wouldn't do much for his legacy. It's a kind of high-risk, low-reward fight, which just doesn't make sense to the champ. So Jones has all but dismissed a potential fight with the brawler and claimed he would rather retire than fight him. 
However, there is one fighter who could tempt Jones to stick around after the Stipe fight, none other than Francis Ngannou. It would be detrimental to the sport if we never got to see these two face off inside the octagon, and fans around the world know it. Francis Ngannou Jones himself has said that a fight against Francis Ngannou may be enough to hold off on his retirement party. This would be a fight that would send shockwaves around the MMA community, considering how both men have spoken about one another since Ngannou's departure from the UFC. When speaking about the potential fight, Jones said, I do believe a Francis Ngannou fight would be worth entertaining, not retiring. I think a Francis Ngannou fight would come with some serious revenue, and that would make it worth my while. Francis is a former champion. He's pretty damn popular here in America and across the world. He's very well known. It would bring in a lot of money, and for that, I would be willing to come back. If this could possibly keep Jones from retiring, you'd think Dana White and the UFC's matchmakers would already be on the case. However, as I'm sure many of you are aware, Dana is quoted as having said Ngannou will never fight under the promotion again. But when it comes to the entertainment business, there's always a price and we believe this is certainly a possible blockade in Jones' future retirement plans. There is another fighter who's been slowly climbing the ranks and finally got the attention of the champion. And that is Tom Aspinall. The Englishman was well and truly on his way to the top of the division before he suffered a devastating MCL tear against Curtis Blades back in 2022. Aspinall recently returned and dominated Marcin Tybura this July, finishing the Polish fighter by way of TKO in just under a minute in round one. After the fight, Aspinall claimed he was going to fight the winner of Cyril Gan and Sergei Spivak, which was set to go down in September. Following a potential win over the victor, the Englishman claims he'll have his heart set on a fight with Jones. It seems the heavyweight champion welcomed the idea. Jones later replied on Twitter saying, Sounds good, lol. So as it stands, we may get to see Jones fight twice more if the MMA gods are working in our favor. While neither fight against Aspinall or Ngannou is even close to being set in stone, we can at least hope we'll get to see Jones continue as the heavyweight champion after UFC 295. But with a victory, it might just be too tempting for the champion to say enough is enough and finish his career on a high at MGS just the way he previously envisioned. What do you guys think about our video? Is there anything left for Jones in the UFC if he defeats Stipe? Could a matchup against Aspinall in the future be worthwhile? Or is there a chance we will see a face-off against the Cameroonian monster Ngannou? Let us know all your opinions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, Mad About MMA, for weekly uploads. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.